Hey, good top of the morning to you, whosoever's. What's today? Today is uh, almost uh, the 27th of August, 2023, 20, guys. Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Um, just wanted to give a morning a little shout out. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe if you can, guys. Again, morning devotion. The morning devotion was uh, on uh, Leah and uh, Rachel. You know, they were like uh, fighting over mandrakes uh, because, uh, you know, one of them, I think it was Leah, wanted to conceive a baby and um, Rachel, I think I think it was Rachel, Rachel was having all, busting out all these kids. And what's cool about a uh, the Bible, it, it doesn't hold back. It tells you the truth. You know, guys, um, God's plan was in the mix. But as you read the Bible, you realize that a lot of the stuff that God does in our lives is all tiny. You know, uh, meeting the right, you know, sometimes we don't want to run ahead of what God has for us. Or you don't want to, you know, uh, lay too much, you know. Sometimes people say, why don't you do this? And why don't you do that? And sometimes we just got to wait on the Lord. And, you know, if you if you don't feel the Lord moving you, you know, you don't move. And Pastor Dylan used to always say, um, you don't move because the, the, the uh, house is, is cheaper over there or or because, you know, it's a better job. You know, you move because the Lord is moving you. And then as you read the Bible, you realize, you know, whether... Whether it be Joseph, uh, Joseph in the Bible, where his brother sold him to to, to, be, to basically to be a slave, and he ended up becoming a, a second in line uh, to Egypt. But you know, even though that God moved him, God was also behind the scenes because He needed the children of you know the children of Israel became slaves. Uh, in Egypt for 400 years. So you might say, "Goes how can God allow Joseph to be second in command in in, in, in Egypt's uh, you know king of Egypt, but only to be enslaved?" Guys, God has a plan in all of this. Can I encourage you as we see the end times gaining speed? God has a plan to save a multitude of people who will come to faith in Jesus Christ. Um, if the world didn't go into chaos, if the world's collapse didn't happen, if the world's economies didn't join, if the world uh, system, the, the revived Roman Empire didn't come together, some of you, some of the people who are listening to this, probably in the tribulation, because I'm getting like zero views, really, maybe, maybe 20, 30 views, but you know what, it's 20, 30 people uh, that could share the gospel, but God is moving behind the scenes. Uh, Leah and Rachel were arguing about who would, you know, you know, they were fighting over mandrakes. They were, the Bible is so cool, guys. Uh, you know, Jesus, Jesus always has a plan in our life. We, we, even though we don't understand exactly what's going on or how it's going to work out or how the Lord is uh, moving behind the scenes. Remember, God is, God is always moving behind the scenes. You know, the place you work. Uh, your parents, who your parents are, your, who your brothers are, what church you go to, uh, uh, what what religion you were born into. You know, God knows exactly what He's doing. Because I was born again, in, I was I was born again in my backyard, but I was born into a Catholic uh, Catholic family, very heavy Catholic. And so I, so I did learn. You know, looking at the statues of the of, of, of the angels and, and the guy pointing, you know, inside the churches. And I would ask my dad, ¿Qué, well, ¿qué es eso? What is that? So my dad said, oh, that's the angel telling them to don't go to hell or something, you know. And who's that? Oh, that's the mother of Jesus. You know, I didn't know any difference. Um, but, you know... God is allowing things behind the scenes. You know, the enemy always says, "Oh, I won. I you gane or I I I you know. You know, ching 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 the bell rings and you know, the winner. Satan is not going to win. Satan is not going to uh, uh 
you know, the, the people who are going to get saved, God already knows. So everything that's happening behind the scenes, guys, uh, you know, you might look at your life and, you know, you can trust the Lord no matter what the circumstances, that, that everything works for good for those who love Christ, who are called according to his purpose. So you could always take that to the bank. You know, in the meantime, get into prayer. In the meantime, download the Bible on Amazon Idable. Spend 12 bucks. Put it on. You know, Pastor Dylan used to always tell me, um, you know, when you're having a rough day, just turn on uh, YouTube and listen to some worship music in the background. You know, um, fill your spirit, uh, encourage your spirit, you know. Week after week, you know, I remember uh, week after week, you know, going to church, you know, our, our church closed down during the pandemic and it hasn't reopened, but I still remain uh, with the same concept of, you know, having my devotion, um, praying, um, just because my flesh and, and the enemy out there, guys, is very much alive trying to trying to enslave you back to your old sin nature or, 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 or you know, being uh, enslaved to, you know, you know, because I used to just, I used to be a bouncer at clubs. So, you know, you see a lot of, you see a lot of things happening behind the scenes there, you know, and, 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 and you know, oh, I'm bored. I'm going to go clubbing or I'm going to go down to Monterey, um, go down to, uh, you know, the bars and hang out and, you know, I don't think that's what God has for me anymore. Sobriety is good. You, you're able to, you know, you might say, oh, man, my life is boring. But really, really guys, what are you doing uh, in the meantime with the gifts God has given you? Are you, are you trying to build um, and, and instead of being enslaved? So we're all being, we're all going to be that, you know. I have I have a tattoo here that says bond servant. You know, we're all going to be enslaved to something, but a person who liter literally lays down his will and, and becomes a slave to God, it's called a bond servant. And you learn this in the Bible. A bond servant is a willing slave. You know, you got to be a willing slave to whatever the Lord has for you. you know? Because, it's the, you know, whatever God's plan in your life is way better of than what you can do because of the fact that God knows the future. He's outside of time. He equips you for the ministry and he equips you for the work of, the, of, of whatever the calling the Lord has for you. So again, guys, may the Lord bless you. Be girded, be strengthened. The Lord is coming. He's coming quickly. I'm driving my Jaguar trying to get past smog because I usually I park it and I just take the battery out. But... That's the worst thing to do when you're trying to pass smog. You literally have to drive it. I've been driving it for almost two weeks, but I reset the thing. I didn't know that if you reset it, you have to start all over. So I don't know. I'm, it's a Life is a learning process. So again, guys, God bless you guys. I hope this message encourages one person. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Um, make it from, the, from personal to all. So again, bless me. Bless us and guide us. In Jesus' name.